you guys have been really, really good about two hours ago. <laughs> there's Oliver. And there's Feedy. Feedos the philosopher. Two hours ago, I pro <coughs> excuse me, I promised you a treat. I said I was going to give you a carrot. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pause this video. Just stay, stay where you are. And I'm going to give you a little treat. And I don't over treat you guys. But I do, I have done quite a few videos with treats and stuff. Um, but I definitely don't over treat you guys. And tonight you were very good. You were very patient. And you've been hanging out here with me. And I'm just grateful to you. You light light up my life as the old saying goes is a song you light up my life you give me hope anyway i'm gonna go get the carrot for each of you and i'm gonna pause the video okay all right sit down now sit down all right philos i'm gonna give you your treat first um what i did was I cut a baby carrot up into four pieces because they tend to chomp down too quickly. So I'm just going to move the blanket. All right, Feely, that's your treat. All right, Oliver, move back. All right, be patient. Hold on, move back. All right, Oliver. <laughs> he... <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't even lift his head up. So anyway, I love that you enjoy your treat. It's good for your teeth. They had a very good dinner tonight. I made... So, I'm a smart shopper. Some people are going to think this is gross, but I bought a chicken about three weeks ago. It was not frozen. It was a fresh chicken, but it was about to expire, like in two days. So it w it went from twelve and change to like five twenty five. So I bought it and I froze it, and I'm like, I'm gonna cook it in my crock pot. So I did that today, and it cooked for about four and a half hours. And I cut up some potatoes, some carrots, some celery. I put all kinds of herbs in there. And um, sea salt and black pepper. And lo and behold, like later on, I actually gave them some chicken from it. And just like cut it up real fine for them and use my fingers to make sure there was no bones in there. And man, they loved it. And I put some green beans in their food with the chicken. And they just like, they had a blast, man. <laughs> and I have to say, I was pretty happy with it. I was like proud of myself. Because some, you know, when you cook some, sometimes it's like, oh, this is going to be really good. And then like when you eat it, like, oh my God, this is, does not taste very good. <laughs> and this time it was like, beautiful it, it it tasted real i t i kept tasting it i have a tendency to under salt everything so i kept tasting them like it needs more salt so i put more sea salt in a little bit more a little bit more and i i put so many different spices in there i'm like i was like checking myself like is any of this gonna kill them because <laughs> like there are like Things that could hurt your dog, like macadamia nuts, will kill your dog, literally. Um, there are things that you do not want to give your dog, like chocolate or avocado. Although, I have heard of people giving their dogs their dog chocolate and they live, but it's seriously not a good thing for a dog's body. So I, you know, I, I, it just doesn't even seem natural to give a dog chocolate, but. 
In any event, this is getting to be a long video. Oliver, come back here. There's no more food, baby boy. <laughs> you guys had the best of it. So um, I'm just uh, checking in with everybody, just saying hi and sharing a moment with my little babies. Come on up, Oliver, please. And um, lots of love to everybody. God bless. And I hope you guys have a beautiful evening. Wherever you are, make the best of your night and um, peace and love and hugs and God bless you. All right. Have a great night, people. I love you.